Rhea looks at the coin normally, which lies at the bottom of his swimming pool. The real depth of the coin is H. The apparent depth of the coin happens to be H dash, and this S happens to be the shift produced. If you want, you can write this coin to be an object and this as the image. Mu is the refractive index of the liquid. Now let us see what uh, we have been asked to solve in part A of the problem. We are supposed to state the formula that relates apparent depth and the real depth. And the formula is the apparent depth H dash is equals to H, the real depth upon the refractive index. In part B of the problem, we are supposed to find the numerical value of the apparent depth as seen by the rear. The apparent depth H dash is equals to H by mu. Now the substitute the values. H is equals to how much? This is 1.5 meters and mu is 1.3. Solve it and this is equals to 1.15 meters. So this should be the apparent depth of the coin. Now answer part C. Water has been polluted, which decreases the refractive index of the water. And we are supposed to tell effect on the apparent depth. And now you see. The apparent depth is given by the expression. You already know H dash is equals to H by mu. Now mu has decreased. So automatically we expect the value of H dash, the apparent depth should increase. Let's check part D of the problem. In part D of the problem, situation is reversed. Now the coin is held in air. And the rear looks at the coin while being inside the water. And we are supposed to draw the ray diagram for this case. The ray diagram, let's try it. The ray diagram for the situation is the top layer of water. And this happens to be the place of the coin. Treat this as an object. This is water. a vertical line carefully so this is where the this is where the rear is i will draw i little later from this point ray strikes the water surface now as a ray is traveling from rarer to denser medium and hence they should deviate towards the normal. This is the normal and uh, the, this is the deviated ray, refracted ray. Similarly, I mean you can draw the ray, similarly you can draw the ray on the right side of this dotted line. Let it write incident ray, normal. It will deviate towards a normal. Now what you do is extend these two refracted rays. Extend this ray as well. So for this object, this should be the position of image. Here, this happens to be the real height, and this is the apparent height h dash. The relation between h dash and h is given by h dash is equals to mu times h. This is apparent height, and this, this is the real height. Extend these two rays as well. Now you can draw i. I of the rear. So this is answer D.
Now let us read part E of the problem as well. In part E of the problem, we are supposed to find the apparent height of the coin which is placed in air and seen by Rhea while being inside water. Now let's do it. We already know the formula. Answer part E. H dash is equals to mu times H. This is 1.3 multiplied by 1.5 and the product of the two is 1.95 meters. So this should be the apparent height of the coin. 